Yeah, she's had enough until she starts doing this on my arm. That's what she's doing. There we go. Uh, see? see? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Got a niche right there. Right there. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's get shot started with some welcomes to the neighborhood. Fusion Devour. Welcome to the neighborhood. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Mandy H. 86. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. You're too squirmy. Omaha TV. Welcome to the neighborhood. X Marissa. Welcome to the neighborhood. Our monkeys are circus. Welcome to the neighborhood. That's a good name. We kind of have our own <coughs> monkeys and circus all the time around here. Mawa Awa. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. They have a channel. Well, you know what? A lot of these people have channels, and I forgot to say that already. Fusion Devour has a channel. Uh, Our Monkeys Our Circus has a channel. Go by and check them out. Mawa Awa has a channel. Go by and check them out. Kinda Chloe. Welcome to the neighborhood. She's over from Jessa J. Thank you, Jessa J. And Kinda Chloe has a channel. She hasn't posted anything in a while. I checked that out already. But go over and check out what she does have. Maybe we can get her vlogging again. Yeah. Kirkland Meadows. Welcome to the neighborhood. Also has a channel. Go by and check them out. Jimmy R. Welcome to the neighborhood. Gave me a hard time about my coloring, and yes, it's very therapeutic for me, so I enjoy it. And he has to support my addiction sometimes. Final, Final Emerald 1290, new name, welcome to the neighborhood, under your new name. He's got a gaming channel, guys. Go by and check him out if you're a gamer, and give him some thumbs up and show him some support. Damien Merchant, welcome to the neighborhood and dark matter welcome to the neighborhood uh vin vlogger she is a very good friend of jessa jay's she's also a fantastic vlogger if you guys don't know who she is you need to know she, we trying to get her to a thousand subs she's almost there so if you don't know who she is go check her out show her some love tell her the neighbors sent you over and, uh, yeah, go show us some support. Faith, Hope, and Love. We all know who they are. They're my friends. Bethany. We love Bethany. And they're trying to get to 1,000. Well, first they were trying to hit 600. Since they made that video, they've already hit 600. So I said, heck, let's get them to 800. Well, they're all, almost at 800. So, heck, let's get heck. them to 1,000, guys. Come on, Faith, Hope, and Love. Go on over, check out their channel, show them all, especially Bethany, some love. She's an amazing girl. She just turned 18 years old. Love, love, love their channel. Love all of them. I met them in person. They're amazing people. Again, go by and check them out, Faith, Hope, and Love. The Woodhouse Life. Happy anniversary. Their anniversary was October 31st. Wow. They got married on Halloween four years ago. Fiona and Luke, happy anniversary, guys. Julie Hasselberger, happy birthday to your husband, John. He turned 50 this year. John Harrison, congratulations to you and your wife, Lydia, on the weight loss. Keep it up. John's lost 102 pounds. Wow. He looks amazing. You can actually see it in his vlogs now, guys. Go by and check them out. They have a channel. Daily Rambles. Happy anniversary to Dawn and Greg. 17 years. Congratulations. Oh, and happy anniversary, or happy birthday to Greg, too. Rosemary Baker. Happy birthday to you. She was born the year JFK was nominated, and her mother was going to name her Jackie. But the nurses came in and told her, everybody who's having a girl is naming their baby girls Jackie. So her mother decided on Rosemary instead, which I think is a beautiful name. So congratulations on your birthday and on your name. 
<laughs> okay, we got some thoughts and prayers. Um, Dave Nicholson, um, thoughts and prayers go out to you for the loss of your friend, Biggie D-Man. Rest, may he rest in peace. Um, the Real Brits of New York, thoughts and prayers go out to the two girls that were hit, a mother and daughter were hit um, by a car on uh, Halloween. It was a hit and run. Yeah, both the mother and daughter survived. They were in ICU for a little while, but they're doing much better. So thoughts and prayers go out to them and to anybody else who got injured on Halloween by drunk drivers, because they did find out it was a drunk driver who, who hit them in a crosswalk. Very sad. Um, Destiny Swan, thoughts and prayers to go out to her and keeping up those positive thoughts that her husband will be home soon. Lisa Gibbons, we sent out thoughts and prayers to her last night and all of her friends and family in New Zealand um, from the earthquakes. We hope that you're doing safe. Um, one Proud Mama, I got a message from her. Haven't gotten a message from her in a while. I'm going to kind of skim through this and, and kind of read just the highlights on Haley. They're trying some medications to see if it'll shrink the mass first. She is really claustrophobic and she has to have an MRI done and they have to put her to sleep to do that. The last time they did it, she had a hard time coming out of it and it really scared April a lot. Um, they had to decrease her normal medications as her level was too high all of a sudden and that scared April was a lot as well. April was in the hospital for two days with chest pains on top of everything, but they ruled it to be stress-related and severe hydration and malnutrition because she hasn't been eating right and taking care of herself properly with everything else that's been going on. Also, my 17th wedding anniversary was October 30th, so happy anniversary to you and your husband. Her aunt and uncle were in a wreck, and her uncle passed away instantly, and her aunt the following evening. So thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family for that. Um, so that's all on One Proud Mama, April and Haley. And if everybody could please, please, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. They are going through some really, really rough times, as you can tell by um, just what I've read you there. And again, um, thoughts and prayers go out to Elijah Drax Shadow from Mom's Vlog 80. Um, I'm sure most of you watch them already, but if you do not, Melody recently did a video that she has noticed the changes in Elijah. Uh, so if everybody can please keep them in your thoughts and prayers for that, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, my question last week was, have you ever won a trophy and for what? We only had a few people that responded to that. First of all, have you ever run a trophy for anything? Not personally, but I used to be a music teacher and my groups would win stuff. Hey, that's still winning a trophy. I won a trophy. What did you win a trophy for? Dance. I had a partner. It was like swing dance. Yeah. Show them some moves. Yeah, okay, I'll show you some moves with these on my feet. Yup. And I need my partner here to do that. Unless you want to start learning how to swing. Nope. Yeah, didn't think so. Okay, so Elizabeth Childs. This was very interesting. She won several bowling trophies, but she, she got a trophy because she ran with the USA Olympic torch. She did? Yeah, what year wow. was that, and where did you run? That's, that's quite an honor, actually. Yeah, it is. Where? What year did you run, and where? Sherry Tate, she got uh, trophies for cheerleading and for choir. Very impressive. Margaret Clevenger got a trophy for being Employee of the Month one time. Very nice. Betsy Wetsy got bowling trophy, but her team carried her. Hey. You still got the trophy, Betsy. Enjoy it. Yep. And Terry Johnson. I'm not going to read everything Terry wrote. Let's just say that she got trophies in science, in um, this thing called TOPS, which is take off pounds sensibly, 
drawing, writing, social studies, several trophies in science. If you want to see what she got a lot of trophies in, go ahead and read what she wrote down below. She got a lot of trophies. Congratulations to you, Terry. And my question for this week is, what is your favorite thing about Thanksgiving and why? There you have it, your question of the week. It's time for a neighborhood community shout out. Okay, so two weeks ago I asked a question about the movie The Darkness, which we watched a couple days ago. And was kind of boring. But besides that, it has Kevin Bacon in it. And it has another uh, actress named Jennifer Morrison, who you would probably recognize from Once Upon a Time. She's the star of that. Uh, but um, the two of them were in another movie together, and, and that was Stir of Echoes in 1999. She played the ghost. That movie was much, much better than this one. Yes, I like that a lot. Uh, tonight, old movie. You may or may not have watched it. It's from 1975. It's an old William Castle horror movie called Bug. Bug. And the question is, what does this movie have to do with the Brady Bunch? The Brady <laughs> Kevin's trivia question of the week, my question of the week, all of the shout outs. We love each and every one of you. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We love you all so very, very much. We would not be here if it weren't for every single one of you out there watching us. We need more. Anyway, thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. Stay tuned tomorrow for a Throwback Thursdays. We're going to start doing. And we will see you next week on another episode of... Pigs in Space. She always gets me on that one. She forgot. <laughs>